In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to design the overlapped text effect in PowerPoint. If you remember, when I was teaching the parallax effect, I told you I would teach this text effect in another video. I personally love this effect and I have used it in some of my thumbnails as well. So let's dive in and design it together. Let's start by changing the slide's background color. Right click on it and select Format Background. In this window, choose any color you like. Click on this icon to add a new text box to the slide. I want to type Welcome, but you have to only type in the first letter. Change its font style to League Spartan Black. I will put the download link in the description. Type 150 for the font size and align it to the center. Choose the white color for it, then hold the control key down and duplicate it, and type in the next letter. Repeat this for other letters. Now we have to modify the order of the letters. Click on the arrange icon and select the selection pane. In this window, we have to rename each text box, then modify its order. For example, this layer belongs to the W letter, so change its name to W and drag its layer to the top. It means this layer is on top of the other layers. Again, this layer represents the E letter. Drag it to the top exactly under the W letter. Do you see that? It is under the W, but on top of the other letters. Repeat this for other layers. Since we have two E letters, I rename this one to E2. Now the order of all the layers is correct. Press Ctrl A to select all of them, then go to the Shape Format tab and click on this little arrow to open the Format Shape window. This arrow activates the Shape Options tab, and this one activates the Text Option tab. Make sure the Text Options is selected, and add a drop shadow in this direction to them. Set the Blur and Distance amounts to 15, and change the Transparency to 45. Let's adjust each letter, and give them a little overlap with the previous letter. When you're satisfied, select all of them and align them to the middle. Then press Ctrl G to group them. Alright, we learned how to design this text effect. Now let me copy this and paste it here in this parallax slide. Do you see this? It is what a parallax effect can do for you. So if you haven't watched this video, I will put the link in the description. As you see, this effect is very charming and it is very easy to design. These animations will grab the attention of your audience instantly. Okay, let's get back to the video. But before that, the most important section of this video. If you like this video so far, please like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for additional upcoming videos. All right, let's get back to the video. I think it is a little big for this slide, so let's decrease the font size. Select the group and decrease its size. You might say, what about the overlaps? We lost them. Now, we haven't. Since we have grouped them, we can easily decrease the size of the group and adjust the overlaps again. In fact, whatever you do on this group will apply to all the letters. For example, you can change their color, or if you need, you can adjust the drop shadows as well. Let me press Ctrl Z to undo that. But still, I don't like it. I want to put this text behind this shape. How can I do that? With the selection pane. 
This shape's layer is here. So let's change its name to the target shape and drag the text group under this layer. Now it is better.